episode of Coach's Corner. I'm your host, Matt Passaccio, and today we're joined by Marlboro High girls basketball coach, Dan Rodziski. Thank you very much for hanging out with us. Thanks for having me. Now, we know that you're the son of the athletic director here at Marlboro, Jeff Rodziski, but we want to take a couple of moments to get to know you a little bit. Uh, how did you get involved in sports as a kid? Well, I grew up playing. I grew up here in Marlboro. I went through you know, all, all the youth programs from boys club basketball, the Pop Warner football, you know, youth baseball. I you know, went off and um, kind of did my own thing. Went to Bridgewater State, coached down the South Shore for a few years and was uh, recently the head coach at West Boylston doing the boys team over there. Um, and once I saw the Marlboro job open up you know, as a teacher in the district, I had to jump at the opportunity. Um, it's always nice to come back to, to the you know, city you grew up in. Now, outside of basketball, what other sports did you play as a kid? I played football, baseball, I did, I did track here, um, and I did track for a year in college. For a year in college? Yeah. Now, as a, as a kid, did you find it a little bit more difficult, or was it a little bit helpful having your father be such a presence? Um, it, it, I, we, I like to you know, kind of credit, we had, a, we had a good core group of kids, we had a lot of good athletes in, in, you know, growing up here. Um, you know, we had Bobby Butler, who was, who was in the NHL, Jimmy Fuller plays professional baseball. Um, so it's, it's definitely nice to come from a, a sports family, um, but uh, it, it's, I think it kind of grew, you know, kind of grew, you know, with, with each other. You know, we all kind of grew, you know, growing up playing with each other. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now you saw your father coach as you were a kid. Yep. What drove you to become a coach yourself? I mean, just kind of you know, how I'm, I, I'm a competitive person and, you know, once, once you get older, you know, I was in college, so you know what, I want, want to get into it. So I really, I kind of started through AAU. Um, and then I hooked on with Hingham High School when I was down there and uh, kind of took off and I fell in love with it. Oh, have you coached um, boys in the past? Or? Yes, this is my first girls team. So that's, um, that was one of the challenges going in is I had never coached girls basketball before. Um, you know, but learned quickly that you know, basketball is basketball and uh, we've got a lot of hard working kids and it makes, it, it makes it easier. I'm sure in the throes of a game there are a lot of similarities, X's and O's, different things like that. But do you find yourself throughout the course of a season um, checking yourself or maybe amending the way that you would coach a girl as opposed to coaching a boy in the same scenario? Um, not so much individually. Um, you know, individually, you know, you can te teach the same skills and, you know, my approach is, is, is pretty similar to how I've always done it. Um, in terms of the flow of the game, is definitely different. Um, you know, whereas in, in, in a boys game, I feel like one one player can more take over a game, but when we play as a team like we've been doing, it's teams haven't been able to do that you know, against us lately. So hopefully um, you know, we can keep rolling. What type of coach do you, um, do you think that you are? Are you a disciplinarian? Do you let the kids kind of, kind of rule, the, uh, rule the core? How does that go? I, I, I like to try and keep that balance. I think they know that you know, there's a way I like to do things. But I also want them to kind of grow as leaders, you know, because we have a pretty young core. We've got a couple great older leaders uh, that kind of show the way that have, that have played varsity basketball before. Um, but I'm trying to teach a whole new system. So it's a, a, kind of a good mixture of both. I want their input because, again, I'm kind of new to girls basketball. But I also have seen things work and fail. And I, I have a vision of how I want this to go. So kind of answer your question a little bit of both, I guess. <laughs> That's fine. Um, you started off the season five and one. Um, you've won a holiday tournament, yep. and that's due in large part to the offensive production of Jill Petrie. Um, can you talk to us a little bit about what she brings to the team outside of her scoring? Uh, she's, she's a senior captain. She is, you know, in terms of a leader, couldn't ask for a better leader. She's first one in the gym, last one to leave. She's hardworking. She asks questions, and you know, she's always looking to get better. She, you know, she was a leader last year on, and it's on the team as a junior. You know, she's one of the leading scorers coming in, but she welcomed the new system and um, has just been, been a great role model for our younger students, younger athletes. Late in the season, you're gonna face a stretch where you won't play a home game for nearly three weeks. Um, how do you keep your team sharp down the stretch during the season? Well, I think it, I can kind of credit that to our preseason. We had a tough preseason. We, got, we went out to Belmont and scrimmaged them, and you know, they're, at this point, they're undefeated out in Eastern Mass. We scrimmaged away at Ashland early in the year. So, and then we had you know, our away tournament. Um, I think the way we want to play, it, you know, being home is nice, but I think you know, we have a bunch of athletes who have had a lot of success in the fall, so they you know, they know it's just, they, they, they just want to play. And I don't, I don't think they think too much into home and away. Um, it's just keeping everybody healthy and you know, improving every day. Well, Coach, thank you very much for your time. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Now that does it for this episode of Coach's Corner. We'll see you next time.